Hello and welcome to Infinity. Uh, I was doing uh, some photography for a friend recently, photographing his uh, house, and uh, in, in editing the pictures, I noticed the, the kind of like the ceilings and walls seem to be grayer than they were originally. Uh, in fact, if I just drag the this over here, look, you've got red, green, and blue are in the middle, so this is a pretty medium sort of grey there. So what I'd like to do is select it and then brighten it up. That was the puzzle. So I just go to Selection Brush, make sure that Snap to Edges is on, get a reasonable size brush, and start selecting around the edge here. Don't worry about it, it's going over. We will undo that later. Work out what we want to include in this. So I want that bit in there as well. Come down here. Also the reflection in there, we want that. And then Alt click to try to take things out of here. They want to take out. And maybe click to I'll just add some more bits in there. That'll do. Let's go up to that. There we go. Oh, and that bit in there. Anyway, let's get as far as okay. That'll do for now. Then what we'll do is do a refine. This can take a little bit of time. The processing is pretty significant. One of the useful things that a refine does also in this situation is to soften the edge. Um, I can go through the usual paint and let it rethink again, but I won't do that for now. Because what I'm going to do is go to the quick mask, which you can do this so in normal mode now, out of the refine, then go to the paintbrush, and then if you've got black or white here, one will paint in the selection, and the other will paint it out. So white paints in the selection, and if I hit X, this switches. And then now I've got a red brush and it paints things out. So now I go round and a bit more carefully painting things in. I've got a 100% opacity, about half hardness, but whatever works for you here. If I click, I've also then shift click, I've got a lot of straight edges here, see it draws lines. And then I can fill things in like this and just tidy that up. I'm going to hit pause now. So I'll be come back in a little bit because it just is just going around clicking and clicking to get the red bits and the not so red bits. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, hello again. Here we are. So now I've selected the bits up which I don't want to um, lighten. So I can turn off the quick mask. It goes back to selections. Now what I'm going to do is going to use a curve. So I just go to curves here and let's go somewhere it's not affected. All I do after all that, in fact I can control D to turn off the things because it's already now captured in the curves mask. If I just go upwards here, look what happens to the wall and ceilings. So you go see how it brightens up? And I just let it go up as far as it I want it to go. If I want to, I can bring this back down again here because I just want the darks lightened. But I can just balance it out. But that's all you're doing is with a simple curve. Look at this before and after, before and after. Not good enough. Maybe let's do a little bit in the mid tones and bring up those more. Yeah, maybe we need to. Just pull up from the middle, in fact. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? So in other words, play with a curve until it gives you the result that you want. Let's try that before and after. Before. After. That's better. That's more like it. Anyway, there we go. 
hope you found that interesting and thank you very much for watching.